What's going on you guys, it's your boy Lloyd here. We got a fun topic today. We're gonna to be talking about seven things that women think but will never ever say. These are things that women, you know, they, with their behaviors and the things that they do, yes, they are thinking these things, but no matter how hard you question them, they will take these secrets to the grave, okay? So I've hung around a lot of women, dated a lot of women, had a lot of female friends, we've had discussions about this, and even in the discussions, women are super reluctant to admit that they do these things, but they're all true. Okay, so uh, here's a couple of them that I've observed. So the first one that I'm, that I'm gonna talk about is something that maybe some of you already know, and that's women, women want the best thing for them, okay? They do not wanna date down. They, they wanna date at their level, and above, and, and they won't even sleep with guys that are below their level, or unless they're super drunk or they made a mistake, <laughs> okay? Uh, women generally want to sleep with like, people that are above them. Typically, a woman can sleep with a guy who's at a much higher mate value than she is, um, but usually to date, she has to basically come around her level, and that's why women have a lot of uh, dating problems as well, too. Finding that guy that will stick around uh, is kind of tougher for her. So yeah, she is looking to, uh, to date a guy, but like, a lot of times when you ask a girl what kind of person she's, she wants or what kind of guy she's looking for, she'll usually say something like, you know, I'm looking for a guy who wants me for me, who, uh, you know, respects who I am as a person, who values my opinions, who's kind, and, and all that stuff's true. But then she'll, you'll point out a guy, well, would you like to get it from that guy? And she'll be like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she wants the best thing for her at her level or above, and then all of that stuff matters. Okay, uh, thing two, yes, they do care about money. Women will deny this till the cows come home. No, they don't care about money, no, 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 And then you look at their behavior and the guys that they date and you're like, what? Okay, there's been so many studies to prove that women care about money and if they are making a lot of money, they care about the money the guy's making even more. Very successful business women, very successful people in their careers, they generally, they, they care about dating a guy who's making more money than them even more. So why do women, why do, why do you see this and why do women seemingly lie about it all the time? Well, they don't really lie, but like women aren't into the money, the actual like, well, I'm sure holding a bunch of cash in her hand would be a great thrill, but she's ultimately looking for a guy who has characteristics of somebody who will be successful in the future. And typically these guys make more money than the other guys, okay? But if you're a guy who's not really ambitious, who's basically complacent, who doesn't really look like he's going anywhere, that's not very attractive to women. Women don't want that kind of guy, okay? And she's never gonna tell you, like a girl, if she dumps you, she's never gonna tell you that she broke up with you because you're not ambitious because, I mean, that's just gonna really hurt your feelings. Okay, uh, <laughs> thing three, she thinks you're a pussy. And the other thing that she's never gonna tell you too, uh, why she dumped you is because she thinks you're a pussy. This is super personal and it's super hurtful. Probably one of the biggest things, probably one of the biggest insults that you can, uh, a woman can tell a guy if she ever spoke it, you know, she, <laughs> you might just drop dead on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, women have this feeling a lot and, you know, in their mind, they might, it might come out in weird ways. The, the big reason why women test men all the time is, is to check that he's not a pussy, to check that he's confident, he, he believes in himself. And if she can fuck with you that easily, um, then chances are you're not that kind of guy. So uh, if you're dating a girl and she does this, that's what she's trying to look for. And she will never, ever say it outright that that's what she's trying to do. But subconsciously, you know what's going on. Okay, uh, number four, she's insecure about her body, um, but doesn't want you to compliment her on it. Okay, women have it tough, man. Like, with the way images are in our society, advertisements, um, I'm surprised, I would be surprised if there was a woman out there who didn't have any body issues going on. You know, this is something that's very concerning of me, somebody who would love to have some daughters in the future. All of these they're constantly exposed to images of women that are just like photoshopped, crafted, or, or maybe they're just a super, super retardedly good looking chick. And you know, it messes with their mind. They feel insecure. They feel like they're not good enough. They always, even if they're a really, really attractive girl, I guarantee you she has tons and tons of body issues going on because let's be real, even, no matter how hot she is, she's never going to look as good as the perfectly crafted Instagram pic. Or maybe she'll just look like that for a second and then, you know, she turns around and put, takes her makeup off and she's not that person anymore. So, 
They all have insecure body image issues about themselves. But here's the thing, when you compliment them, it's kind of like when a woman says that you're a nice guy. If somebody, if a woman compliments you on being a nice guy, generally most men don't see that as a compliment. They, a lot of women will see that as like an insult. Same thing with women when you compliment them on their beauty because they know it's kind of just your, it doesn't really mean that much to them. Yeah, I'm beautiful, so what? Every guy says that to me. Every guy wants to sleep with me, but do you actually appreciate me as a person? Do you actually, are you gonna stick around and date me? Like those kinds of things matter to her a lot more, but doesn't really cure the insecurity that she has. Okay. Um, Number, I think we're on number five right now. She wants you to take charge, okay? Women want a guy to lead, women want, a, that's the man to woman connection. The man leads, woman follows, okay? But she's never going to tell you this because if she has to tell you to take charge, that indicates that you're not a very good leader and not really a man that she's looking for. So she wants you to take charge, but she's never gonna tell you, bro. You have to step up and do it. Now, if she's the one that's planning the date, if she's the one that's kind of leading you around, okay, that's you not taking charge. Even women that are, very, I guess for lack of a better term, alpha, they're still looking for a guy that's more alpha than them, that can kind of take them down. That's where she's gonna feel true desire from, okay? So yes, she wants you to take charge, but she doesn't wanna tell you to do it. Okay, uh, <laughs> number six, women want you to have game, okay? Here's the thing about having game. If she has to tell you to have game or tell you what to say and do, okay, that's not really game. Again, we're talking about taking charge and, and, and having that, okay? That's why my channel exists. My channel exists is because there's not really a manual out there for guys to look at, uh, but women want you to know that manual regardless, okay? They want you to say those funny things. They want you to tease them. They want you to make them feel girly. They want you to appreciate them and say those right compliments, be smooth, lead them, do all the stuff that I talk about on this channel. They want you to do it, but if they have to explain it to you, it kills the fun. Okay, uh, last thing, thing seven. Women want you, women want men, uh, but they are also very, very scared of them. As men, we are the biggest threat to women physically and emotionally that they can go through. Uh, women are probably the biggest threat to men emotionally, but physically probably don't pose a very big threat. If you go out on a date with a girl and it goes, something goes wrong, you get really angry, you can hurt her and, and there's not gonna be much that she can do unless you guys are maybe in public and there's somebody that can save her. You know, it's gonna be very, very difficult. So when she goes back to her your place, when she goes out on a date with you, she has to have those concerns in her head where she's constantly thinking about that. Yes, there are laws. Yes, I think most men are better behaved than uh, the media gives people credit for. You know, generally most men aren't gonna do any of those things, but it's still in the back of her head. I mean, if you walk into a club and every single girl was like this giant muscly girl who could like fuck you up if she had to, you'd be feeling the same way too. So maybe when you grab her arm or do something that isn't a big deal to you, it could be a very big deal to her. So just be conscious of that when you're around women. Okay, cool, those are the seven things you guys, but honestly, I could do a freaking hour and a half long video on this, so I'll probably do some other topics like you know, things that women lie about very frequently, uh, what they actually mean, um, and I'll be covering a lot of those in the future, um, but there's also other videos that I covered about this. I mean, again, this is a big reason why my channel exists in the, in the first place, you guys. Okay, cool, so that's it. So if you guys are, wanna get coached by me or learn from me personally, I have a classroom going on. If you wanna learn about more topics like this, this is just the tip of the iceberg, you guys. Basically, there's a form down below for my mastermind group. If you click on the link, fill out the form, we'll get back to you. All right, guys. Good luck out there.